Fishing is very hard work, but it's rewarding. The ocean is unbelievable. It's hard to change a way of life that you've known for 40 years. Oh, well, life goes on. Bro. How are you doing? Not bad. You all ready for the upcoming after season? Yes, I am. I love the work up there. I love the job. I love the people. I like being in the community. There you go, Mr. Cutro. Thank you. The girls there, they took me right underneath their wing, all of them. And we work as a team. They're family. And that's the truth. When I returned from the hospital with nothing else to do, that's when I contacted West Nova. And I went on to an employment program. They sent me in a counselor and we discussed what my best options would be and she kind of convinced me to start a little bit of college and maybe some internet courses in the business. I expanded it into accounting and financing. Got a job to the Royal Bank, part-time. On my spare time, I started this business here. Doing some accounting and internet work and taxes and more or less any kind of bookkeeping. I can't do what I did before, it's obvious, I guess. I know quadriplegic in a wheelchair and I'm paralyzed from my C5 down. About 4.30 that afternoon, I went to get down from my deer stand and there was a branch broke behind me and I fell backwards, landed on my head. I was on the ventilator for three months. My life was over. But my daughter being four or five years old at the time, she said, come on, Daddy, come on, Daddy. You're either going to live or you're going to die. And I wanted to live, so. My daughter is 13. She's in grade 8, and she's a role model for any kid. We decided to get into foster care just to to give something back to the community. Dad, don't you dad, stop. We love them all the pieces and adoption will be finalized in December. I was born on Cape Island and I was raised on Cape Island and I'm still living here on Cape Island.